a Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release for March 19, 2015. Steroid links fat accumulation with egg development. Nutrition and metabolism are closely linked with reproductive health. Several reproductive disorders, including polycystic ovary syndrome, amenorrhea, and ovarian cancer, have been linked to malnutrition, diabetes, and obesity. Furthermore, fasting in numerous species can result in decreased fertility because the development of immature egg cells, called oocytes, is arrested. Understanding how nutrients accumulate in immature oocytes will provide valuable insights into the link between metabolic disease and reproductive dysfunction. New work from Carnegie's Alan Spradling and Matthew Sieber focuses on the accumulation of triglyceride and a certain kind of steroids called sterols during oocyte development. They were able to identify an insect steroid hormone that's crucial to both lipid metabolism and egg production in fruit flies. Their findings are published in the journal Current Biology. Recent studies in flies, mice, livestock, and humans have shown that lipids accumulate dramatically during the development of immature oocytes. These lipids appear to be required for healthy egg development and for early embryonic growth. But until now, little was known about the mechanisms controlling this lipid accumulation in any species. Spradling and Sieber discovered that the insect steroid hormone ectosone stimulates a protein called SREBP, which controls the activation of genes that induce accumulation of lipids in immature oocytes. The lipids are important stored nutrients for the maturation of the oocytes and their development after fertilization. The SREBP control system has been highly conserved during evolution and controls lipid metabolism in humans as well. They found that ectosone also promotes a female-specific accumulation of high levels of stored fat and sugars throughout the body that's required for normal fertility. Overall, ectosone acts to regulate systemic metabolism of the female fruit fly in order to support egg cell production. Without this female increase in stored body fat and sugar, oocyte development is slowed significantly and fewer eggs are produced. Spradling explained that many metabolic mechanisms are conserved between fruit flies and humans, making the fly an excellent tool for defining the metabolic demands of reproduction in animals, including humans, and the regulatory pathways that fulfill these demands. This image is of an ovarian follicle, courtesy of Matthew Sieber. The cytoskeleton is stained in red and the DNA in blue. The green shows the activation of SREBP, which controls the activation of genes that induce accumulation of lipids in immature oocytes. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.